Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on a potential second wave of coronavirus. Needless to say, a global pandemic like COVID-19 has had a significant effect on the world economy and arise concerns about whether a second wave can be avoided. In cases such as the Spanish flu of 1918, the second wave of infection can prove to be larger and deadlier than the first one. Based on a high-frequency data developed by Nomura Bank, applied to 10 US states and 45 major economies around the world, there are two potential scenarios that could unfold. In the first, so the good scenario, a country or US state experienced a quick recovery in people mobility. Lockdown measures become relaxed and businesses resume operation with minimal increase in the number of new daily cases, resulting in an ease in public fear and further increase in people mobility. As the number of new cases declines, a positive feedback loops quicken. So, on the other hand, so the second and the bad scenario is characterized by, by a much flatter curve. The reopening of the economy is associated with an acceleration in the number of new daily infections, growing public fear, and seizing people mobility. In extreme cases, lockdown will be reimposed. The visual tool has yielded a mixed bag of results. 17 countries are on track with respect to reopening economies with no signs of second waves. 13 countries are showing some tentative warning signs and 15 countries in danger zone of being at risk, most at risk, of a second wave. The later group largely comprising of emerging market countries. The final result? could be a two-speed economy, with some growing at full speed, at full speed and other lagging. There will be no globalization of the disease. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe, read my morning and keep on winning.